we do have a lot of ingredients in play here for some severe storms. The chance for storms is not very high, but if we do have a storm pop up, there's a decent shot that it turns severe. And of course, there's a day like today where we're all the way up at 99 degrees. And after just 10 minutes, you can get 119 in your car. So just make sure, even if you're making a short trip into the grocery store to grab something real quick, make sure that your pets and your kids are either air conditioned or you take them in with you because temperatures like this have not been felt in a very long time. These storms here are part of what we like to call the ring of fire. Anything on this edge here of this high pressure system of this hot and humid air is where you have your highest chance for some storms. And as that starts to dip down into the area, that's right where we start to get our severe weather threats. Here to the east, we do have a set of storms here pushing its way to the Atlantic Ocean here on the edge of a high pressure system. And we do have another set of storms in the edge of that high pressure as well up here in North and South Dakota. And I really love this shot. I love the rural background here. And you can see above that nice clear skies so far. Nothing to really complain about this morning. There's going to be a system rolling in here with some pretty heavy rain around Friday, early morning. Friday looks like 2 a.m. That's going to start moving in through Jacksonville. And as the morning continues on, those are going to split up just a little bit, maybe not be quite as intense. This map here has kind of every shade of the spectrum right now. You got 55 in Bloomington, but then you have 73 here in Paris. So that really makes a difference here on how it actually feels outside. And looking a little bit further out here to the west, we do have some showers and storms starting to die off a little bit out there towards Iowa and Missouri. But again, there's plenty of chances for rain as we push on today. Plenty of moisture, plenty of heat still. This is important because we projected 99. Champagne has not had a 100 degree day since 2012. And if you look at the dates on here, they're all late July, early August. We don't get this kind of heat this early in the year, and it's just something to behold right now. If you look at the radar, we do have some clouds starting to sweep into the area. Most places sitting anywhere between the mid to upper 80s. Do have a few low 80s up there, though, towards Pontiac and Bloomington. But overall, it just feels more comfortable. Temperatures right now, we're going to stay hot until at least Thursday. And then we're going to see those temperatures start to dip as that cold front moves in. Things are going to start to get a little more comfortable. But of course, until then, we're dealing with all kinds of humidity. That high pressure system has all kinds of just moist, warm air in it. And we're really not going to get any relief till that until we get to that cold front here as we push into the weekend. So it's hot and sticky right now, but looking to get a little bit better here as we push on to the weekend. We do have heat advisories across the board. We do have an excessive heat warning down there in Fayette County. Those expire tomorrow at 11 p.m. And of course, we're dealing with those temperatures right now, anywhere in the low to mid 90s, even got 94 there in Decatur right now. We got a little bit of wind helping out of the southwest, anywhere between 5 and 15 miles an hour. We got 15 all the way up there in Watsika, but this humidity is dominating us right now, anywhere between the mid 70s all the way up to 81 there in Paris. So this humidity is just really beating down on us, making for some unbelievable heat index values here. Look at that, 112 in Paris, and it's just 11 o'clock here right now. So that is unbelievable, and it's going to continue to heat up here as we move into the heat of the day. But the big thing we're talking about here is our drought conditions. We saw this graphic yesterday. This is what it looked like before it was updated this morning. We have a little swath of dry conditions here, and as we updated it this morning, it just really expanded. That same area that was dry has now turned into a moderate drought, and then we have just a giant coverage now of dry conditions. So we're really hoping that this rain that we're seeing here has a chance this weekend that it actually comes through and relieves us a little bit here. As we can see, Saturday during the day we have a chance, but it's really Saturday night into Sunday morning when we got our best chance. And as we look ahead, if we miss out on this, things are going to start to get a little tricky here as we see the next several days after that. There's not a whole lot of rain in the forecast. And it's time for weather now. We've got meteorologist Seth Bonoff here, and Seth, it's been a a very very dry forecast here a lot of people need some rain the farmers have been cl complaining about it do they do they are they gonna get some rain here right today we're looking at a little bit of a chance but not anything really we can count on we're looking more into this weekend to have that higher chance Friday Saturday Sunday we do have a chance but again it's slight we're just hoping to get whatever comes our way really that's pretty much all it is in terms of the temperatures too we had those hundred degree temperatures last week are going to be that hot again, right? Not going to be quite as hot. We're looking about the low 90s. The important thing is the humidity. It's not going to be quite as high, which feels good for us. But again, those crops may take a little bit of a beating because of that dry air. And we're going to end the month here in a good fashion. As we can see behind me on the Flooring America INAC cam, Champagne, beautiful cloudless day, starting to warm up a little bit. We can't expect those same temperatures we've been feeling the last few days to continue during the summer. But again, not a whole lot to complain about. Storm tracker Doppler shows not a whole lot out there right now. As we step back a little bit, look to the north, there are some showers up here in Wisconsin, Minnesota that are starting to die off. But again, nothing heading this direction right now. Temperatures anywhere in the low 80s on their way up to the mid 80s, 83 up there in Pontiac and 80 up in Bloomington. We're starting to feel a nice breeze here today too. winds anywhere between 5 and 15 miles an hour out of the south southwest direction here. And our dew points again are not much of a factor staying in the mid 50s. Do have 60 in a few places, 62 up there in Bloomington, 61 in Lincoln. So getting a little sticky, but again, these dew points are sitting in a nice place right now. As we look ahead to the rest of the day, high of around 91, mostly sunny skies, winds anywhere between 10 to 15 miles an hour out of that south direction. And as we roll into tonight, we're going to see a low of around 70 with the winds 
uh, dying down just a little bit between 5 and 10 miles an hour. And of course, our biggest story here is our 4th of July weekend. We're hoping for good weather, but we're also hoping for a little bit wet weather, just not on our holiday. Saturday and Sunday, we see that chance of rain. Temperatures will start to increase just a little bit. And as we head to Monday, we don't want it to literally rain on our parade, but there is that chance there. Hopefully that stays away for our celebration and just comes after everything is wrapped up that day because we certainly could use some rain. Most places in the area could use some rain. This is our updated drought monitor as of this morning. You can see this area of moderate drought has expanded just a little bit. And then this area of dryness has really just covered a lot of area here. So we could really use some relief and looking ahead, we do see as you can see, several chances of relief, even if they're not very high percents. Starting Friday during the day, tomorrow, we do have that chance of rain. And as we roll here into the weekend, we see a few chances of elevated rain. Looks like Saturday night and Monday night are some good chances of rain. So hopefully we do get that rain, just not when we're out there trying to celebrate our 4th of July holiday. We'll see what happens here on our future track. You can see a cold front moving in here starting tomorrow late afternoon. We do have a few showers behind it, not a huge chance. And then as those roll out, we can see Saturday evening is when we get this really increased chance of some possibly heavy rain. Rain. And then as that cold front moves out, we do have another low pressure system right behind it for round two showers in the uh, morning on Sunday coming through. And as we head into Sunday afternoon, there's still some showers sticking around on the back end of that system as we roll into our 4th of July. We can see the morning looks pretty cloudy, but not much rain there. So hopefully we can get some parades ran through by the time we roll into the afternoon. As we can see late afternoon around 6 p.m., we do have that uh, low pressure system moving in to bring some showers. And as that heads on out, we do have chances of showers of course, the rest of the week there on Tuesday as we roll into Wednesday, another low pressure system comes in here, bring with it a higher chance of rain. And as we roll into Thursday, we still see a chance for some scattered showers. So plenty of rain in the forecast. Hopefully we do get some of that to help bring us out of that drought that we're in. As you can see, temperatures are going to stay hot here as we roll into the weekend. Then once that cold front moves through, we're going to dip down to 86 and those temperatures are going to rebound a little bit, head back into the 90s, going to be 92 on our 4th of July. And they're going to dip just a little bit into the upper 80s as we roll into next week. Let's see on our muggy meter here. Humidity is not going to be too bad today. As we roll into the weekend, we do see it start to increase a little bit. Once that cold front moves through, there's going to be plenty of dry air behind it. And then as some more showers come in, we're going to see plenty of moisture right behind it. And here on our seven day forecast, as we said, heat as we head into the weekend, we're going to have plenty of chances of rain. Looks like at least 30% from Friday all the way through to next week. And then our 4th of July, we do have a 30% chance of showers and a high of around 92.